thank you very much for clicking on the video. This is Good Pain. I'm back again, just with a very, very quick uh, top five. Uh, so, as I said before, one of my um, a guy I'm subscribed to, PJ Venom, he's done like a top five Resident Evil games. So I was like, I'll just do it. You know, a few top fives. Why not? <laughs> Where I'm speaking in front of the camera. Um, so now that I have a bit of time in this roasting, absolutely roasting uh, October day, uh, end of October here in England, which is I can't believe it's not. A, you know, I'm wearing shorts every day. It's unbelievable. Um, but uh, what do you do? Global warming. That's it. So today we're doing the top five. Uh, broken Sword games, so I haven't spoken about Broken Sword for a while, so I thought I'd, um, you know, kind of speak a bit about Broken Sword today. So why not? Let's have a quick look. Right, so in the top five then, um, coming in at number five is, um, this is actually Broken Sword Trilogy, so I don't have my copy of um, Broken Sword 2 or Broken Sword 3, I don't know where they are. I know where 2 is at home in Ireland, in my mother's house, and I don't seem to have um, Broken Sword uh, three anywhere for the PS2 or the Xbox. I thought I had the PS2 and the Xbox versions, but I don't know where they are, so I'll have to buy them again. They're like a pound each anyway, so I'll just I'll purchase them again. So coming in at number five is Broken Sword 3. So Broken Sword 3, I actually replayed it there a while ago. Um, it's actually not as bad as I kind of I thought. I've always considered it like the black sheep of the family or the, you know, like the least good. It's still a really good game because the, the voice acting is excellent. It's just there's so many like puzzles that are just really bad. Um, so it's just a little bit not that much enjoyable and when you have to go to like the meat packing place or is that before anyway it's one of them anyway but um you have to do the crates and all that it's not as good and they kind of do the 3d graphics where you move george and nico around and it's not as good as like clicking and telling them where to go in my opinion anyway um so broken sword three at number five coming at number four then is a uh, broken sword five so Broken Sword 5 is the new one, um, it's excellent, I have it for the PS5, PS4 and the PC because I bought it straight away for the PC when it came out but I didn't know it was for the PS4, then I bought it for the PS4 and then I played it on PS4 and I'm playing it currently, uh, like live streaming it to kind of, you know, to go through the whole game but um, I'm just doing it in parts because it's hard to get the time because these games take ages particularly when I'm clicking around I don't know where I'm going um, So Broken Sword 5 is fantastic, the story is, the story is excellent in Broken Sword 5 The voice acting, the guy sounds the same like 20 years later um, George Stobart, uh, the guy, I can't remember his name now, um, the guy that does uh, George's voice, I think it's the same, yeah, this is the same guy since the first game, so he's like the iconic voice, and I think they've changed Nico as voice actress, because she sounds a bit different, I'm not 100% sure on that though, but um, yeah, just f fantastic, and uh, Dwayne and um, Pearl are in it as well, which is always great to see, like, you know, the, the characters from the previous games um, in come, back, uh, come back again, and then coming in at number three then will be Broken Sword 2, um, so Broken Sword 2, again a lot of people would have Broken Sword 1 and Broken Sword 2 in sort of the same vein because they're a very very similar game. It's almost like the same game, you know, just split into two parts. Um, but Broken Sword 2 for me is is, re is excellent, it's really good. Um, but I just like the other games better, that's the only reason. Like So Broken Sword 2 where you, you know, you go to like South America and there's like a really good like um, sort of, I don't know how you describe it, just sort of like adventure story and it's absolutely fantastic. And then coming to number, four, number 2 then <laughs> is Broken Sword 4. Or the Angel of Death. So this would be a lot of people's least favourite one is uh, Broken Sword 4. Uh, it only came out on the, I believe it only came out on the PC, but I thought it came out on the Xbox, like the original Xbox as well, but I could be wrong. Maybe it came out like in America, like a very limited re limited um, release on that, but I'm not sure, but I think it just came out on the PC. So that's a bit of a disappointment because, you know, it didn't have kind of the wide appeal then. Um, I really like it because the story in it is actually really good. Um, if you sit down and kind of play it and, and listen to it. I know it's got like a lot of repeated stuff from the previous games like it's got another hotel scene it's got another it's got that kind of um all that kind of where you're um you have to like avoid people and like a metal your solid kind of bit which people don't really like either because point and click games are kind of like you know you kind of it's like a puzzle game as opposed to like a, a stealth game but they kind of put little bits in it they, they did a bit they did a bit in broken sword 3 as well where they put like other elements in it where you're like fighting the dragon and stuff um, and then broken sword 4 they tried it again and then with broken sword 5 they just went back to the you know back to the original and just like slow kind of you know story based adventure game and um, where you have to kind of solve little puzzles as you go um, which is the kind of I, th I think that's the best way to have broken sword i mean if it's not broke don't fix it unlike the sword um, so then we've got at number one then we've got the the original uh, so broken sword and um, the shadow of the templars i've gone for the wii version because the wii version has additional scenes I think it has better graphics, I'm not sure, but it's got like character portraits as well when George and Nico or um, I've always loved the part where you phone the guy in the, I can't remember his name now, um, the guy in the um, 
uh, the, sh the shop with the clown costume and he's on the phone and there's two like huge characters so it's George on the phone and then him on the phone I love that sort of stuff as well so um, it's got like additional scenes in it with Nico where she goes underneath the sewers and stuff so it's kind of superior to the original game just like little bits that um, kind of make it better um, but yeah Broken Sword 1 fantastic I can play it right now excellent game um, never get sick of it it's 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 probably the best they should remake broken sword one <laughs> that's what they should do um with kind of updated story or updated elements as well or like because you know it's remake city at the moment all the games are being remade uh, so that's my quick uh, broken sword list so if you've got your broken sword top five if it differs to mine let me know in the comment section below or do a video response yourself so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video adios